Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Tony here, and today I will be reviewing the Ccam Flourish Excel, and I will explain exactly what it is and how it works. If you find this video to be informative, please make sure that you click the like button and subscribe. So, this bottle right here, the Ccam Flourish Excel. Well, to me, it's really magic in a bottle for planted tanks. As advertised, it says that it is liquid carbon for plants, but I want to be very, very clear here that this is not liquid carbon dioxide. Plants perform photosynthesis in the presence of light and through the consumption of carbon dioxide. There are little tiny holes that you can't see on the underside of leaves, and these holes are called stomata, and they take in carbon dioxide through these little holes. This bottle right here, this is not liquid carbon dioxide. In order to produce liquid carbon dioxide, you would need very high pressure and very cold temperature. There's none of that here in this small plastic bottle. So what exactly is here? The main compound in this Flourish Excel is an isomeric form of glutaraldehyde. This form is much less reactive and therefore it is safer to put into tanks with living creatures. This compound will break down naturally over time, and as it breaks down, CO2 is then released, which can then be used by plants. And once again, CO2 is produced by the breakdown, the decomposition of this particular chemical. The time for breaking down this compound is around 24 hours, which means after 24 hours, there should be no more of this particular chemical in your tank, which means you will have to dose again for keeping up the carbon dioxide level. Interestingly, glutaraldehyde sounds very similar to formaldehyde. They are indeed of the same chemical class. Glutaraldehyde does have algaecide property, but this is not labeled on the bottle. One of the reasons why I really like dosing with Excel is because of this particular property. Excel not only provides carbon to plants, but also helps control algae growth in your tank. So blackbeard algae and green hair algae, they're very common in newly established tanks, and this Flourish Excel can really help you either get rid of the algae or at least control their growth. With regular doses recommended by CCAM, it does take a little while for the algae to slowly die off. I do personally dose pretty heavily in this 20 gallon tank. The recommended dose for Flourish Excel is a capful every day for 50 gallons. I personally do two capfuls in my 20 gallon daily. I have lots of plants in here, they need the food, they need the carbon, and I have been doing this for about two months and haven't seen any adverse effects on the fish, snails, shrimp, and the frogs. It is possible to overdose on this product because it is naturally a biocide, so just be very careful, observe the inhabitants in your tank to make sure that they're not suffering from the, uh, from the effects. There's still a little bit of diatom in my tank. The algae is pretty much under control. Some green algae growing on my micro swords. They're starting to die off. Now I just want to mention here, algae in tanks, they're not always bad. Fish, shrimp, snails, they love to munch on algae as a food source. So having a little bit, it's normal, it's natural. If they're starting to grow out of control, that means your tank may be unbalanced. You could use this Excel to attempt to control the algae growth. I find it to be very useful. I do recommend using this particular product to keeping your plants healthy. And this algaecide property from Excel is just a beautiful bonus. 
If you have similar experience or questions, please comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.